A California lawmaker accused of child cruelty is speaking out, saying he intended to discipline his seven-year-old daughter with a spanking. State Assemblyman Joaquin Arambula is home with his three children this morning. The children were briefly removed by Child Protective Services. Jerika Duncan is here with the case, highlighting the legal risk of corporal punishment even for parents. Jerika Duncan, good morning to you. Good morning. Very, very divisive story, yes. depending on which I'll way you, you fall on the spectrum. Well, it's important to point out that spanking your child is legal in all 50 states, but if it crosses the line into cruelty or abuse, it becomes a crime with potentially harsh punishments for the parent involved. When Joaquin Arambula was sworn in as California State Assemblyman two years ago, his wife and three young daughters were at his side. Arambula was arrested earlier this week. He says he spanked his eldest child, who told her teacher the next morning. We have nights where we can get overwhelmed. Um, that night was a night that um, uh, she was acting out. School administrators called Child Protective Services after allegedly noticing an injury on the girl's body. She was really angry that he spanked her, and um, she woke up angry, and she went to school angry and wanted to be heard. Arambula was arrested on suspicion of willful cruelty to a child, a misdemeanor. He says he spanked his daughter on the buttocks, but the police chief says other evidence led to Arambula's arrest. The injury in this case is not on the buttocks. Police plan to send the case to the district attorney next week. Arambula's attorney did not respond to our request for comment, but in a statement to the Fresno Bee, they said, it is disappointing that Chief Dyer has taken to the media in order to try this case in the court of public opinion. We have offered to meet with the representatives of the district attorney's office so that relevant information can be presented. Arambula, a board-certified physician, maintains his innocence. I'm a healer by nature. I'm a doctor. And it's not in my nature to actually be assertive and aggressive like that. While spanking is legal, the courts consider it excessive if it leaves physical injuries. Family law that. specialist yeah. Donald Schweitzer. In my practice, I tend to tell my clients don't use corporal punishment because you never know who's going to determine that it is reasonable or unreasonable. Arambula's attorneys say the children were returned to their parents two days after the father's arrest, after Child Welfare Services determined there were no concerns about abuse. If convicted, Arambula could face a year in jail. And like you said, Jerika, this is really a controversial issue because so much depends on how people were raised, right, mm -hmm. and what they saw in their own home Absolutely. environments. Absolutely. And as my mom used to say, you're a different child than your sister. No. <laughs> what, did you get, did <laughs> you get spanked? rules for me. Did oh. you get spanked? Okay, all right. Okay, you don't want to answer this. Let me ask mom, you. Rika has a great mother. Okay, wait, wait, Jerika, because awesome you're a mom. mom. Do you yes. spank yourself now? Do I spank myself? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, Jerika Duncan. Got well, jokes. Do you spank your dog? I'm, I'm big on timeout. You can. But every I'm once a, in a I while, don't... there's a threat. Yes. And I try not to. I really. You know, yeah, she's five years old, and I don't I'm, like it. And especially if you leave yeah. marks on her child. Yeah, absolutely. But I know it's a personal decision, yeah. and it's legal. Everybody has to make their own decision. But I just don't think it, it helps a child. I don't. Yvonne Duncan is an yeah. excellent mother. Yes. yes. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. And Duncan. your daughter has jokes. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Tarika.